why expressing yourself is not always the best advice. Why expressing yourself is not always the best advice is because sometimes you're full of negativity. You're full of anger, you're full of guilt, you're full of shame, you're full of resentment, whatever it may be. And when we feel these things and we want to express them, there's a natural tendency to want to express them because when we express, it feels like it takes the pressure out. You know, it's like a pressure cooker. It releases some of the pressure, right? But what it tends to do is that we've released this negative feeling, this negative energy, onto someone or to something. Usually it's onto someone else, like a friend, a colleague, or even a therapist, right? And so when we unload this negative feeling on someone else, usually, depending on the person that we're unloading it on, Usually for them, they have to learn or they have to now deal with this negative feeling. And it takes a lot of skill and a lot of self-awareness to be able to deal with a negative feeling that someone's giving you in an intelligent and wise manner that doesn't make you feel negative, right? So if a friend came to me in a negative state and then unloaded that negative feeling to me, I would require a certain sense of intelligence and balance within myself to be able to allow that to come on without me being becoming negative myself. All right? And that takes a lot of skill. That takes a lot of wisdom. And most people aren't at that stage. What usually happens is that someone unloads a negative feeling and it becomes, and I'm unbalanced, and so naturally I respond either in a negative way or I take it on and I feel it and I suppress it and I hold on to it in some way. So there's some kind of unbalanced uh, way that I'm dealing with it. So in this way, expressing ourselves is not always the best thing because it simply means that when I express it, it creates negativity for someone else. Right? And it's not the healthiest thing to do. Even if I get some relief, I've now given some negativity to another person, right? So there's another thing or another reason why expressing ourselves is not always helpful because they found in psychology studies that they used to think, you know, like punching a pillow to get out anger and expressing your anger was helpful to release the feeling of anger. But what actually happens in a lot of people is that when we express the anger, it actually feels good in the brain, right? So then next time we feel angry, we express it again, and we express it again, and we almost get addicted to expressing that feeling, which is anger, which is punching things, right? So it doesn't actually help it go away, it actually reinforces the behavior or reinforces the expression, which is a negative feeling. So this expression is not always the healthiest. It is helpful sometimes, but I wanted to present a different way to deal with it. There's another way that not many people are aware of, and this way is what we call releasing it or letting it go. And that simply involves when you feel the anger or when you feel the negative feeling is that you're able to accept it first of all and then you're able to just let it go you know let it release from your body let it release from your mind and let the whole story dissolve so the story no longer exists and when we're fully released on a negative feeling when we've done it really well and efficiently, it actually means that that energy is gone forever. It means that that, that issue is now gone. But if the feeling keeps coming back, the same issue keeps coming up again and again, it really means that the, we haven't let it go. And it's still somewhere inside ourselves. And so then we'll go to try to express it, release it in these ways, express it or do other things with it, right? So I've found through my own you know, therapeutic uh,
practice and throughout the many years of experience is that the only really true way to get rid of these negative emotions, these negative feelings, is through the process of releasing, through the process of really letting go at the deepest level. And expressing it helps a little bit, but it's not always the best thing to do with a negative feeling. A much more effective way to do, do it is to release it, to let it go. And so if you want to know more about releasing, if you want to know more about letting go, then feel free to check out my resources, my website, and we can go into a process where I can teach you how to let go and how to release so that you know you don't have to be expressing all the time and unloading this stuff all the time and you can feel better uh, you can feel lighter every day and it's actually really quite easy to do once you know how